Right YouTubers, Steve here, aka Catanonia, for another video review. Uh, but before we do that, let me just show you a scenario and see how familiar this is to you. Yeah, we've all been there, haven't we? We've all gone hunting, we see our quarry, we want to know the distance, so we get our trusty rangefinder out, because we need it as air riflers, you know. We need to know what the range is so we can work out our pellet trajectory, hold over and hold under. So we get our rangefinder out of our pocket, we balance the gun, we try to steady ourselves, we get a fix on it, and then we put the rangefinder back, lift the right, and the quarry's gone. It's really annoying. There's got to be an easier way of doing that. And of course it gets even worse when it's night time because you can't actually see. So you can't range find. So it gets really difficult. So um, I found a really nice little product and um, I've been playing with this for a bit of time. And as always, I'll leave all of the links down below in the video description. So click that and have a look in there and you'll find this and the bits that you'll probably need to get it working. But this is a really nice piece of kit and it comes in a gorgeous box look at that oh it's like it's almost like a mobile phone anyway what's in the box let's just open it up well we get some instructions chinese and english the actual english isn't too bad for a change but we don't need them do we some nice foam wrapping all right let's get straight into it what is it now i'm gonna have to be careful because at the moment you can only get this in camera and you're not gonna be able to see it if i do that <laughs> but anyway look at that this is a rangefinder that sits on top of your scope you don't look through it. What you do is you line it up with your scope crosshairs and then with the rat tail, you press the button and because it's lined up with your scope crosshairs, it will tell you the range on a little LCD. Let's switch it on. And there we see the little LCD in there. Really, really nice. So how do you mount it? Well, you're gonna need uh, some scope ring adapters. So a scope ring with a Picatinny adapter on the top of it. And I'll leave a link down below. There's a nice one that I found on Amazon that actually works for 30 mil uh, and one inch tubes with little sleeves. Really cheap, nice and easy. Um, and there's the actual rangefinder itself. So you plot that on. So the first thing I thought when I was looking at this, and it isn't quite clear on the links and the pictures that they supply, is how do you actually align this up with your scope crosshairs? Well, they thought of that. The back here is an elevation wheel to allow you to lift it up and down and at the front there's a screw here that allows you to do windage left and right. So really simple, plop it on, line it up with your scope and then all you do is you press the rat tail. So you look through your scope and you press it. So I'm just going to range find out to the garden there and it gives you a range and you can set it to meters of yards whichever you want through the mode button on here simple as that it is really really good now what else can it do well meters and yards it'll do it will also do straight horizontal distance it gives you inclination or elevation up and down so that can help you as well um, it has a fog mode on it as well so that tries to combat fog by sending out um, different types of patterns and then works out the average sometimes works most ranges fail in the fog but it's got that mode as well it'll also do speed but I wouldn't suggest you do that because you're going to have this on top of your rifle and pointing this at, say, a car moving along, you're probably going to get yourself in trouble. What I basically use it is for is the two modes of scanning it has. So the first mode is basically you press the button and it's set to scan and it will constantly scan. Now, I don't know if this is going to pick anything up behind me. It might do. Let's just see if that's working. I don't know if any of those numbers are changing on there. It's whether it's picks anything up. Yeah, it's picking a little bit up behind me. But uh, that's the first mode. So wherever it's looking, it's constantly scanning and it's constantly changing the numbers as to where you look. Really, really handy. And then if you press it again, it will lock it for you. So there you go, I've got it locked. Nice and simple, nice and easy. At the front here is where the radar, uh, the laser comes out and then it receives it here. Um, really, really nice, solid metal construction. It can take a bit of abuse, this can. At the top here is the battery, takes a standard CR2 1.5 volt battery and you've got some plastic iron sights here to help you do rough alignments with it all. But basically, you pick it up, you plonk it on to the top of your scope, you centre it all up, 
and away you go. You press your button, switch the unit on, you get your range, easy. So look through your scope, press the button, look up, see it on the LCD screen, you know exactly what range you're going. In the box, they give you the Allen key for it all. All of the fittings that are on here are all here. So this is the Picatinny rail mount with the um, windage and elevation on here. The rat tail comes obviously with it. And then they even give you a little bit of Velcro to help you put that onto your rifle somewhere. So it's in nice each up at the stock end if you want. So really, really nice, but there's more. Let me show you some footage. All right, guys, it's pitch black out here and I'm freezing my man boobs off but I really want to show you this this is amazing so what I've got is I've got the camera set up hopefully you can see what I'm seeing through the um, Yukon Photon night scope and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like um, without the rangefinder on and then with the rangefinder on just, just watch this it's amazing so we're on target now We've got the Yukon and you can see that we're straight on target here. Absolutely perfect. Now what I'm going to do, watch this, you'll be amazed. I'm going to switch on the rangefinder. And the rangefinder has now switched on. And I'm going to set it into scan mode. And we're in scan mode. And can you see that, ladies and gentlemen? That is absolutely amazing. You can see the flashing. You can actually through, see through the night sight the actual laser flashing away and I'm looking up just just use my peripheral vision and I'm looking up I can see that it's at 21 meters I can just see it on the little display above what I'm going to do is just going to move this bad boy across and we're just going to scan down the garden a little bit further and there's my targets at the bottom of my range there and I'm now looking up and that is at 31 meters and you can see the laser just flashing now I'm slightly off centre. I need to just adjust this a little bit more to the left using the um, using the windage screws on it. But it's just hopefully this just shows you how absolutely amazing this is. So, oh wow, I'm at night sight here, and I am actually simply just range finding. I've switched it off now, and I'm going to switch it back on. I'm just using the rat tail here. Here's the rat tail, and I'm just going to switch it back on again. Look at that, range finding, and I'm back to 21 meters. Oh, this is just so good. I'm sorry, I really am lost for words. This is just fantastic. Oh yeah, that's why this is, I like this so much. Range finding at night. Now all range finders will work at night because laser will work at night as it just in the day. But the problem is with typical range finders, you've got to lift them to your eye and you've got to spot the target which you can't do at night unless you buy really really expensive night sight range finder handheld we're talking hundreds and hundreds of pounds but this because it lines up with your scope as you saw in the video there i actually had it attached to the yukon photon night sight i just plonked it on top lined it all up and in the video you can even see the laser line so i knew the lasers were actually hitting the center of the crosshairs and because it's line of sight and this is lined up and it's laser what works at night you press the wrap button and what do you get you get your range so easy a really nice simple solution for this and this is one of the reasons why i've rushed this video review i've been playing with this for less than a week i'm just so impressed with it so impressed with it lots of people ask me about it saying steve get the video out get the video out i'm really interested in that give me a review on it so here we are. Your command is my wish. So, what else do I think about it? Are there some bad sides to it? Well, one bad side is it only comes in camo. Very easy to lose, but you could sort that out with a bit of black paint, I'm sure. Another bad side is, I'd say, this little uh, attachment for the rat tail is a little bit flimsy. Um, it should be okay, just don't manhandle it too much, but um, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, the bad side of that. Um, I'm really struggling. Price, yeah, it's 135 pounds or dollars, but you know what? Most of you guys out there are probably looking at rangefinders costing a lot more than that. This is so versatile, it's simple. The length of it, not much longer than a credit card, 220 grams. The whole thing included, everything I'm holding here. Yeah, it's just so nice. The battery seems to last for ages. I've been playing with this for ages in there. And it's just a nice, simple CR2 in the top of there. 
One other problem with it is it can be a bit tricky to actually line it up uh, in the daytime if you've not got night sight. Obviously in night sight you can see the laser, it's easy. But in daytime it's not. So I found a little trick with it is basically to roughly bore sight it using the plastic uh, iron sights on here with where your scope is pointing. Then I found the easiest thing to do is get to an open area and basically get a stick and put a card up say 20, 30 meters away and there's, there's nothing else in between you and past that card. You know, the next nearest thing it could possibly range find is say 100 meters away. Then basically line your scope up and then start playing with the windage and the elevation turrets on here until the rangefinder picks an object up at 20 meters. Then you know that it's only possibly could have picked that target up. So yeah, that is another bit of a downside. It is a little bit difficult, a little bit fiddly, a bit tricky, um, but it took me less than 20 minutes to do it. So it was pretty good and pretty easy to do. So um, yeah, like I said, I, I love it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Really, really nice rangefinder. So like I said, I'll leave the links down below for the actual unit itself. Um, I also leave a link down there for uh, a scope to Piccadilly attachments so that you can actually fit this to a scope. Of course, it will work with daytime scopes, nighttime scopes, whatever it is that you want to do. It's just a matter of lining it up with where you're aiming. Really, really nice. So hopefully you like this video review. Um, hopefully you like the new format. Hopefully the video quality and the sound is better now. I've done some upgrades. Um, as always, smash that uh, like button or the dislike button and subscribe if you haven't already um, and also consider being a patreon as well and throughout the video I've left some links lying around here to other rangefinders and other stuff and uh, other reviews that I'm doing so as always guys thank you very much for the channel and supporting me and um, we'll see you on the next video and happy shooting bye, -bye.